In this video, we're going to have a look to see how you can add a custom field to your registration magic registration form. So here we have a registration form. We'll go and have a look at the fields. And you'll see that we have username, password and email, which are standard fields. And if we look at that form on the front end of the website, this is what we'll see. The username, password into the password again and of course the email. So let's add a custom field and see how that works. Right, we'll move the email to the top. So we end with username and password and now we'll add the custom field. To do that, add field, head over to special fields and select custom field. On the custom field, we can now enter a label and let's call that custom field one. And we'll add the placeholder text to be the same. And then we'll head over to advanced settings. And in advanced settings, what we're going to do is we are going to change this setting. So add field to WordPress user profile and we can either associate with an existing user meta key, so we could use this field to update an existing field, or we define a new user meta key. And the way to do that would then be, in this case, we've called it custom field one. So we'll call the field one to match. Display in front end area. Yes, we'd like it to display in the front end area and allow users to edit this field after submission. Yes, we'd like the user to edit the field after submission. And now we add to form. Now that it's added, let's just move that up. We'll put that right at the top. And then we'll head over to the front end. We'll refresh our page. And now you'll see that the custom field is the first field followed by the email, the username, password, and then the password confirmation, and then ready for submission. So there are two ways that this can work. The first way is where you're a brand new user signing up to the website. And we'll make this custom here. Well, let's call this a custom entry. And let's make this demo to at and a username uh, already associated. So as you can see, it does check as you fill in the fields. We'll change that to demo three. Username will be demo three. Let's put in a password. And let's confirm that. Right, so there we have um, filled in our form and we're going to submit the details. Okay, so that is where the information is submitted. Now, the other way of, of using the form is having registered users fill in the same form if you're looking to get some additional information out of them. So the way to do that then would be for me to log in. So I will go to the please log in and I will enter Right, we'll log in. Right, spelling mistake. Right, so we we'll log in. So there we are logged into the site and the user profile that we're seeing here is the one that would normally be associated with Event Prime. 
And what we're going to do now is change that to the user profile, which is associated to registration magic, which is on this address. Right, so, so here we have um, my information, and you'll see that under personal details, there is no um, custom field being displayed. So let me go along to that registration field, that registration form, which is on register. And now you'll see that when the form loads, it's only going to ask me for the custom field, and it has my email address already. So here I will put custom entry one and submit those details. Right, submitted. And now I'm going to go back to that profile page for registration magic. And now when we look at the personal details, you'll see that the custom entry one is listed and that the custom field one has a value. If I want to edit the information, I can click on edit your submissions. There's my demo registration and you'll see that it's taken me down to the second navigation tab on the left hand side. So it could either do it that way or just by clicking on that tab. Let's click on that. That's the name of the form that was used. Here we have a summary of the data submitted. I click on edit the submission. I'll add some more details, update the form. And then automatically redirect it back to uh, this page. And if I click on back, It'll take me back to this form. If I want to go back to my profile, it would just remove that section and go back to submissions. And then you're back to your profile page. So a lot of these links that I'm typing in manually here would be in your navigation at the top, just to make life a lot simpler. But that is essentially how you would add the custom field to the entry. Let's go and have a look at that in registration magic. So here I am in registration magic. If I go back to all forms, you'll see that it indicates that there have been three submissions of this particular form. I will then just click on the number three. It will then bring up the three submissions. And now I can have a look at those entries. So demo three was the new uh, sub new uh, user that we created. So there you have the new user registration, which was demo three. And there we have the custom field, custom entry displayed. So I'm going to go back here to the other entries. And here we have the the entry that was added on the front end to an already registered user. And if we scroll down, you'll see that it does have the information that was entered and it does appear in the back end. And you'll see here that it says in the note, submission edited by demo on that date. And if we go back to the listing, you'll see that there is a note for that particular user. So that's pretty much how you would add a custom field to your form and how new users would register with that information and how an existing user is able to then also complete the form but then only submits the details um, other than uh, username and password. So thank you for watching.